Morning folks and welcome to another episode. It's 3am in the morning and me and my good mate John Chivers are going to ride two electric energy car motorcycles from Land's End to John O'Groats. I mean, what could go wrong? All right, we're going to head down to the sign. See you down there. Please remember to check out our other videos and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you get notifications each time we upload another video. It is about 3.30 a.m. Uh, we are, me, this is me and uh, John Chivers, uh, we are at Land's End. Um, it's a bit windy so apologies for the noise. Uh, you can see both of our energy codes parked down by the sign. Uh, and we are about to fly off to, well not fly, ride off to uh, John the Groats. So uh, about 850 miles in total. Uh, we're not sure how that's going to pan out. DC fast charging, a range of anywhere between 80 and 130 miles I've seen on this bike, depending on what you do to it and what the conditions are like. Very windy, yet to work out which way the wind's blowing for us. But all right, we're going to get on the road. So I'll see you at our first charging stop. Now the great thing about being down here at this hour in the morning is you can quite simply ride around the visitor centre which would be impossible during the day. The bad news is it's dark, it's wet and it happened to be very very cold. Now our first charging stop was only 29 miles up the road but we were stopping here because we didn't think we could make it in one hit all the way to Exeter and we were really getting used to what the bike could do. Hello folks, I am at a pub called the Plume of Feathers. This is in uh, Redruth. Um, now, interesting, we've stopped here. It was only, what, 30 miles from uh, Land's End. Um, but we've got a bit of a jaunt going to Exeter. Um, and we thought through a weird process that this would be better to stop here and, uh, before we get to Exeter. So we've been here for exactly eight minutes. Um, I'll just show you the bike. Uh, bikes up to 90% we said 10 minutes I'm on nine minutes now so uh, are pretty much ready to go John's just over there same thing so both bikes plugged in uh, everything's going pretty swimmingly so so far so good uh, I mean what can go wrong we've got another what 810 miles to go so it's all going perfect all right so we're gonna get unplugged and we'll see you at Exeter on this leg the roads were empty the roads were really smooth it was actually a great road to ride However, it was also very, very cold and we had 94 and a half miles to ride. And had we have combined that with the previous leg, I'm really not sure we would have done it because the temperatures had now dropped down to seven degrees and we were really feeling it. I'd lost the sensation in my toes, my fingers and my knees. We are at Exeter. Um, we've got the high power ones up there. Uh, we've decided to come down to the lower power ones because these will only charge at 24 kilowatts. Um, however, um, there's no thermal management on the, um, the energy car, so the battery can get warm. Uh, so we've turned it down to, I've turned it down to f about 14 kilowatts, 50 amps, um, in the hope that actually that stops the battery getting too hot. It's telling me a 36 minute recharge time, which I'm okay with, because I'm gonna go and get some breakfast and warm up. The ride from the plume of feathers to here was freezing. Uh, the temperature, we left Land's End at 14 degrees and it was seven, eight degrees going through the dips and yeah, it wasn't, uh, wasn't amazing, but the sun's coming up now, so it's getting nice and warm. Um, and yeah, hopefully that will be consistent for the rest of our journey. So, right, uh, we're gonna crack on and go and get some breakfast and uh, yeah, it's all good. So, 22% already, so, right. See you in a little while. Okay, we've had some breakfast, a couple of coffees. So I'm at 94%, but 12.564 kilowatt hours has gone in. So it took 44 minutes, but like I said, we uh, turned down the uh, charging current. And if we come around to the bike, you see just on the screen there, it's charging bang on seven kilowatts or six kilowatts now. Um, and, oh, starting to trip over the cable. And there it is. And then right behind me, John's. Now John set his charging current a little bit lower than mine, so he's currently at 86%, so a little bit behind, but it's okay, that's a, that's a few minutes. So right, we're going to head off from here to uh, Bristol, up the M5, which is dead boring. Um, uh, we're going to uh, Severn 
Valley services, seven moto services, I think, um, the new hub that's open there. So, but we'll see you there. This for me is probably the worst leg. It's all motorway and nobody likes to ride a motorbike on the motorway. The leg was 87.5 miles, but fortunately it seemed to fly by. The weather had picked up, it was getting nice and warm and we seemed to be going with the direction of the wind. So we are at uh, Seven Moto, which is like between Bristol and Wales, just by the bridge. Um, we plugged in now to the one rapid charger that there is. Um, there is actually six over there. They're not working, they're still fenced off. I thought they were working, so it's my bad. I suggested that we came here. Uh, so John is using the rapid charger and I'm using the AC just to top up. Um, but it's not too much of a drama because we've just done 80 something miles to get here. Um, I got here with 42. Uh, John's already up to 70% on his. So in terms of efficiency, going really well. Sorry about the noise. Uh, I think a rough calculation they're doing 10 miles per kilowatt hour which is incredible absolutely incredible uh, so yes everything's going all right at the moment so we're going to be here John's going to top up to about 90 then he'll swap I'll go over there get 90 and then we'll get on our way we're now heading up sort of on the Welsh border uh, Hereford um, up towards Warrington uh, Shrewsbury and up towards Warrington way so we'll find somewhere to charge up there so all right see you there wherever there happens to be now in stark contrast to the previous leg, this was probably my favourite leg. We could really make the bikes work, loads of twisters and the weather seemed to be really good. This leg was 106 miles, roughly 2 hours and 15 minutes to cover, but I've got to say really enjoyed it. Okay folks, we are in Shrewsbury at a Ballantyne's Health Club and Spa. Two inch the volt chargers here, both bikes on charge. The bike is set up with Olin shocks on it. It's really set up for a track and it's set up for one guy in particular uh, and that guy is not me. Um, so I'm not having a great ride in terms of comfort where John actually is on the standard shocks uh, is having a much better ride. So John previously had a zero DSR um, which he vlogged about and that had a six kilowatt onboard charger um, which meant about three hours stopping. He did the same journey on that and it took him four days. Yeah, it's about 90 minutes. No, it took you four days to do. Oh yeah, yeah, with three hours, yeah, it was three hours. Okay. Yeah. So he previously did this journey from Land's End to John O'Groats on that zero and it took him four days. It's gonna take us about, I'm gonna say about 36 hours. Um, so these, these stops are really, really fantastic. Admittedly, if these had been in use, it would have slowed us down, but they haven't been. So it, it's working out okay. I'm gonna head off, get coffee, and we'll have a look where we're going next. So, see you there. At this point, the weather's still really good. Everything's going swimmingly, and we've got more A-roads and more twisties that went on for at least another 40 miles of this leg. The leg is actually 97.6 miles, and that was taking us up to Garstang. Unfortunately, we did have to jump on the motorway for a short time, but this was just to avoid some congestion. Welcome to Garstang. So on these Instavolts, four of them, I've been here loads. This is a regular for me uh, when I'm out on my travels. Uh, 102 miles to here. Uh, bike is currently on 33% and I got here with 29. So really, really impressive efficiency. Uh, pretty similar for John as well. His, uh, everything's going splendid for him. Uh, so yeah, um, it's turning out to be I don't want to say anything, I don't want to jinx it, it's turning out to be going quite well. For a bit of balance, uh, John, uh, five years ago, did this same journey on uh, a Zero DSR. And in one day, he made it to Shrewsbury, John. First day on the DSR, do you get to Shrewsbury? Just, just, south. just south of Shrewsbury. We flew through Shrewsbury, straight, straight through and straight out the other side. So this DC rapid charge in Malarkey makes all the difference. Love this and it's, it's absolutely would would make make me decide on what bike i was going to buy if it had rapid charging so anyway we're going to be here for 24 minutes so i'm going to get this done uh, and then we're going to nip inside and uh, and have something to eat so we'll catch you guys in a while this is a genuine issue both bikes 100 percent state of charge because people come over and talk to us there's a lot of evs in this area 
the guy pulled in with an Audi uh, Q4 e-tron straight over. So we stood here waffling for 25 minutes before we've even gone in and got our dinner. So um, that's like an actual issue. It slows you down. So we're now a bit behind time, but we're both fully charged. So that's good. Anyway, from here, we're going, I think, to Carlisle somewhere near there. So see you there. Now we could have gone much further than this charger, but it was quite convenient and it was on our route. The leg was 79.5 miles and about two hours to cover, but we did get to ride through the Lake District and over Shap Summit, which was absolutely beautiful. Hello folks. Okay, we are at a retail park in Carlisle. We are on two Instavolts. Uh, Jonathan's charging just there. Jonathan! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, John is charging just there. <laughs> I am charging just here. Uh, actually got here after 78 miles with 39% and we had a great time over Shap and over that way. It's beautiful. So uh, yeah, really impressed with the efficiency of the bike. Um, I'm up to 62% just now. It's telling me I've got nine minutes to go till I'm at 80. We're going to let it go a little bit more because we've got a bit of a long leg. We're heading to uh, Edinburgh to an Osprey charger, two Osprey chargers, which I use regularly when I'm up there. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a bit more of a gentle ride up there and it's getting cold. It's a bit a bit nippy now, so not the best. But yeah, it's all going well so far. So we'll see you in Edinburgh. This was a very scenic leg, which took us into Scotland almost immediately after leaving Carlisle. The leg at 88.3 miles is very gradient intensive and very twisty and the weather was starting to turn. So we really weren't sure how the bikes were going to fare. As it happened, they fared rather well. Okay, we're in a place called Dalkeith um, McDonald's. Uh, we've got two uh, Osprey charging units here. Um, so uh, what I wanted to do was to show you what the bike's done uh, on that before I plugged it in. So you can see there, um, I don't know if you can see it actually, I'll, I'll go down as close as I can, but we've just done 89 miles there um, and we've still got 30% left. Um, and, the, and the actual route was um, from Carlisle up through uh, some places called Bent Road, I think, and some very strange names and cattle grids and very, very convoluted sort of roads twisting and turning. A great, great biking roads, uh, but not great for efficiency and range. And it's still pulling out this sort of this sort of mileage. So oh, it's just fantastic. And I'm going to plug it in now. We're going to go in there, um, get a bite to eat. Uh, and it's going to be done in 20 minutes. So this is, it's, it really is very, very good. Um, and the more time that I get to spend with it, the more I'm starting to realise how capable it is of, of cook, uh, doing these long ranges without issue. I don't know where I'm going after this. I'm going to have, have to get some food and then have to think about it. So we're going to go inside and warm up a little bit because it's getting a bit cold. So right, see you guys wherever that may be. By now, we were both quite tired. We've been on the go for about 19 or 20 hours. Now this leg of 77.1 miles was gonna take one hour and 20 minutes, but it was now dark, it was getting wet, and it was getting very, very cold. Hi folks, I'm not sure how this is gonna look um, because I'm in a pitch black car park in on the side of the A9, um, somewhere just south of Pit Lockery. We were going to go to Pit Lockery, um, but there's apparently a couple of issues with one of the uh, 50 kilowatt chargers there. So we've come to here. You can just probably just see the bikes and just behind there's two 50 kilowatt Osprey units, which uh, we're going to use. So that leg, if you have a quick look at the clocks, was um, 79 miles uh, and we've done it on 57% so really really impressed by that from here um we're going to go up to inverness um i'm not sure how far that is but that seems like the next logical stop and then from there hopefully that will get us to uh john O'Groats. so hopefully the sun would have come up by then it's 20 to 2 um and just in the distance i can see a little bit of light so i'm kind of hoping because it just makes things easier so all right so we're gonna get on uh, we'll see you in inverness fortunately the sun did start to come up which made riding slightly easier the leg of just over 90 miles was around the cairngorms so the temperature was getting progressively lower and lower uh, which made the ride quite hard accompanied by tiredness so I was really looking forward to getting to Tesco's in the hope that we could get a coffee. 
All right, folks, so this is us at uh, Tesco's in Inverness. Uh, that journey was, well, 90 miles, I think. Um, we got here both with about 30%. Um, and it is freezing. It's colder here than it was coming all the way through the Cairngorms. Um, anyway, Inverness um, isn't the best for charging. I mean, it's got rapids, but they didn't, don't seem to be two together working. So we've come to Tesco. So Jonathan, John is on the um, uh, the 50, topping up, and then I'm on a seven. He'll top up till he's at about 85, and then swap over onto that, and then I'll swap over onto the rapid. So from here, um, it's 120 miles to John O'Groats, and and I think. I think I'm going to talk John into winging it, I reckon. I reckon have a nice steady ride and uh, I think we'll do it because the bike is easily giving us that mileage. Um, the only fallback that I've got is that there are three rapids in Wick, which is about 10, 10 miles down, just in case it all went wrong. None of them were working. So uh, the good news is it looks like that's just open so we can get a coffee. So anyway, I'm going to go and I'll see you at John O'Groats, hopefully. <laughs> As it turned out, we didn't manage to get a coffee from Tesco's, so we were still both very, very tired. Uh, there's a nice long climb that takes you out of Inverness going north. Uh, this leg now was 57 miles as we had decided to break it up as we were both so tired. So we were heading for a small village called Brora, which is between Inverness and Helmsdale. Hi folks, we are in Bora, uh, which is uh, south of Helmsdale, north of Inverness, uh, and we are both plugged into these two 50 kilowatt uh, units, um, Charge Play Scotland, both working perfectly. Everything has gone quite fluidly. Uh, I mean, our next stop is John O'Groats, and we've had no problems, um, which is I was genuinely expecting something, but we've had nothing so far. Anyway, um, we we've stopped here because um, we because this has got two units. There's only one at John O'Groats, and if somebody wants to come and use it, it's a little bit difficult. So these were free, so we we're going to do a top up here as much as we can, then to John O'Groats, and then down to Scrabster and over on the ferry to Orkney. Our final leg of 62.7 miles was going to take about an hour and 20 minutes. Fortunately, the weather was good, it had warmed up and we were both feeling rather rejuvenated, probably because it was our last leg. And this is a great leg to ride, really good views, really good twisties. And ultimately at the end of it, we've got this famous signpost, which I was really, really grateful to see. Okay, folks, that is us here at John O'Groats. Uh, we're actually on the charger. We've been up to the sign. We've had our pictures taken and done all that business. We had a really nice ride up from uh, the village, uh, Rora, which I called, Ro I think it's Rora. Brora. Oh, well, Brora, Brora, uh, which I call Bora. Uh, sorry about that. Um, a cracking ride up. Um, so really work the bikes hard. And uh, so we're just topping them back up now. Uh, we're gonna go into the cafe, get something to eat, Try not to fall asleep uh, and then we're going to head down to Scrabster and then get a ferry over to Orkney. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. See you soon. Take care. Bye for now. Whilst on our ferry over to Shetland, we found this lot, a bunch of internal combustion riders. So we thought it'd only be very sporting if we popped our electric bikes right between them. And we're pleased to say there was some genuine interest. And after about 15 minutes, we even got offered beer. So the bike was quite well received and went down quite well. On another occasion with a lapse of concentration, I ran out of road and almost ended up in the field when I should have turned right where you can see John riding now. And finally, on Orkney, pulling into a car park, I ran out of talent and uh, the bike went over like a hot Mars bar. Rather embarrassing, I must say. I think they're all right. <laughs> okay, just want to give you a quickie just to show you where we're at. The bike's back. Uh, it's been splendid, no issues at all. And if you can see the screen there, if I cover it up, we've done 2,029 miles uh, plus 126, which I did when I picked it up and drove it from here back to my house. Uh, 
not a single problem and an absolute blast to ride really is so anyway i'm gonna leave it there folks thanks for watching please remember to like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time in the next video okay bye for now